Understanding the dual nature of things. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, dual nature. This term pops up in various contexts, from science to philosophy, and it's a fantastic expression that can add depth to your conversations. So, let's unpack its meaning together and explore how it applies to different scenarios. Dual nature refers to something having two fundamental and often contrasting aspects or characteristics. It's like saying there are two sides to a coin. In English, we often use this phrase to describe complex concepts, objects, or even personalities that embody opposing traits. It's the coexistence of two distinct features in a single entity. To better understand dual nature, let's look at some examples. A person can be both introverted and extroverted, depending on the situation. We refer to this as an ambivert, someone with a dual nature. Another example is light in physics, which can be described as having a dual nature because it exhibits properties of both waves and particles. In literature, Many characters are crafted with a dual nature to give them depth. Think of a hero who is courageous yet vulnerable or a villain with a cruel streak and a compassionate side. Culturally, the concept of yin and yang in Chinese philosophy represents the dual nature of life's forces. Harmony between opposites. Incorporating dual nature into your vocabulary can add nuance to your discussions. For instance, you might say, the dual nature of modern life is both fast-paced and isolating. Or, this policy has a dual nature. It's beneficial yet controversial. That's a wrap on the dual nature of things. Remember, Embracing the complexity of this phrase can enrich your language and thought processes. We hope you found this video enlightening and that it helps you appreciate the beautiful contrasts all around us. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.